my name's Lynn and I am one of the BB Anchor Boy leaders and I'm going to tell you your Bible story for this week. Some of you might remember that I did one of the first Bible stories in this series um, but I'm back to tell you a second one. So I wonder if you can guess who my story is going to be about this time. So I'm going to give you some clues. Uh, the first clue is that this man in the Bible really, really wanted to see Jesus. Okay, so that's clue number one. So maybe you can guess it on number one. If not, here's clue number two. So clue number two is he really wanted to see Jesus, but he couldn't see Jesus. So that might make you think of a few different people and um, our stories in the New Testament. So maybe that will help as well. Um, if you need a third clue, my third clue for you is his name begins with the letter Z. Okay, so have a good think. Have you been able to get it on clue one or two or maybe clue three? So the person my story is about tonight is Zacchaeus. You will hopefully already know the story of Zacchaeus, um, but I'm going to tell it to you again. It is found in the book of Luke in the Bible, chapter 19. Um, maybe if you want to pause the video for a few minutes, if you have your very own Bible story book or if you have a Bible and you want to go and get it, you could look up um, the story and you could follow along with me in your version. So that would be really good. Or maybe when we finish, you might want to go get your Bible story book and you could retell the story to someone else at home. So I'm going to tell you the story of Zacchaeus from my Bible story book, which is this one here. And it is the Lion Bible for Children. Okay. Um, but the pictures that I'm going to show you are just different pictures that I have found for you to follow along with. But let's start off with our story. Go now. So my story is set in Jericho and it tells us that in Jericho there was a man named Zacchaeus. He worked as a tax collector for the Romans and he had cheated so many people so cleverly and so often that he had become very rich. Now, people in Jericho did not like Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector, as it told us in the story, and a tax collector was a Jewish person, but they worked for the Romans, and the Romans had come in as an army, and they had taken over um, the country, and the taxes were taken from Jewish people and given to the Roman army. So really, Zacchaeus was taking money from his own people and giving it to the Romans, and while that was bad enough, the worst thing of all was he was actually cheating them. And it tells us that he had cheated so many people so cleverly and so often that he was very rich. So he was taking extra money, giving to the Romans what needed to be given to the Romans, and then he kept the rest for himself. So the people in Jericho really did not like Zacchaeus. Now, it tells me in my Bible story book that people in Jericho would actually spit at his door when they passed. They really did not like Zacchaeus. They thought that he was worse than an ordinary thief because he stole from everyone. He stole from poor people. He had grown very rich on the sufferings of the Jewish nation. And so no one in Jericho thought of him as one of their own people. It tells us that they just, they didn't like him at all. They thought that he was a traitor. He was the lowest of the low. He was more hated than the invading army, the Romans. Now that day that our story takes place, Zacchaeus heard some very exciting news. He heard lots of noise. He heard lots of people shouting about Jesus. In fact, he had heard people talking about the miracle worker called Jesus, who was coming from Nazareth. And he had heard them talking about them for some, him for some time. And he was getting very curious. That just means he really, really wanted to know who Jesus was. He knew that Jesus would never talk to him, of course, but if only he could catch a glimpse of him, if only he could see him. Zacchaeus sneaked out into the crowds, but there were hundreds of people lining the way. He was a very short man, and so the people in front of him were like a huge wall. Suddenly, 
he saw a sycamore tree. And just like a little child, he scrambled up into the branches. From there, he could see Jesus coming. But when Jesus came close to the tree, something amazing happened, something that Zacchaeus never thought would happen. Jesus stopped suddenly in front of the tree and he looked up and he saw Zacchaeus sitting in the branches and he said to him, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus could not believe that his name was being called out, especially that his name was being called out by Jesus. His mouth went dry and he began to tremble because Jesus was looking straight at him. Zacchaeus called Jesus, come down at once. I'm coming to your house today for a meal. My house? Yes, hurry up. Zacchaeus clambered down, not knowing whether to laugh or cry. He was so happy. He ran ahead of Jesus and he ordered his servants in his house to prepare a feast. It tells us in the story that no one in Jericho could believe what was happening. There were crowds of people who had all waited a long, long time to see Jesus. And they knew the case and they couldn't believe that of all the people in Jericho, Jesus would choose to go to the case. Jesus would choose to speak to the case, even to call his name. They just thought, what would Jesus want with a cheater like Zacchaeus? But Zacchaeus stood up in his house and he had a, at his feast and he welcomed his guests. And as he welcomed them, he looked straight at Jesus and he announced, Lord, I will give half of all my possessions to the poor and anyone I have cheated, I will pay them back four times as much. Jesus spoke and he said to Zacchaeus, today salvation has come to this house. This is why I have come, to find and to save all those who are lost. The story of Zacchaeus is really important for us and it teaches us a great lesson. At the very end of it, Jesus says, this is why I have come, to find and to save all who are lost. Jesus came into the world to save all of us who are lost. And when we think about being lost, we normally think about not being able to find someone. Maybe you have been lost yourself, but it doesn't mean lost in that way. For us, it means to be lost from God. And we are lost from God when we sin and when we don't know God as our heavenly father, when we haven't trusted in Jesus, his son, to save us from our sins. Zacchaeus was lost. Zacchaeus was a sinner. Zacchaeus was doing wrong things. He was making wrong choices. And that's a little bit, it's a lot like us as well. We make wrong choices. We might do the wrong thing. We may say the wrong thing. We are all sinners, boys and girls. But the amazing thing for us is Jesus came to save us from our sins. Jesus came so that we can go to be with our Father in heaven. He came to find and to save all those who are lost. If the case who did all of these things and sinned, was able to be saved by God, then so can we. Because we may not steal, we may not be cheating those people that we know, we, we may not be doing the sins that Zacchaeus did, but each and every one of us sins. I do, everyone does. But the difference is when we sin, we recognize that we're hurting God and that we're disappointing him. And every sin is equal. So we need to trust in Jesus. We need to re realize that when he died on the cross for us, he took the punishment that we deserve for the sins in our lives. And we can be saved and we can go to heaven to be with him. So in the story of Zacchaeus, when Jesus said, today salvation has come to this house, that means the case had realized he was a sinner. 
He had said sorry for what he had done. He had more than tried to make up for it. But more importantly, he had realized that he needed to ask for God's forgiveness for his sins, just like we do. And God forgave him. And God will forgive us if we ask him to save us from our sins. And Jesus did come to find and to save all of those who are lost. So I hope you've enjoyed the story. I hope you can remember the story of the little man called Zacchaeus who really, really wanted to see Jesus. Hopefully see you soon. Bye. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord.